well, that's it. It's the comical toxicity. Forgetting the flattening of our interpersonal relationships and the fact that it's basically brain cigarettes, these platforms are designed to do nothing other than make us as evil and wrong as possible in order to manipulate social discourse and make money off of our suffering and sell us things. And all the while, we keep calling it the democratization of media. Yeah, actually, phone very, very bad. I have way too many thoughts on this subject to even scratch the surface right now, but I'll tell you, I think one of the most dangerous things about it is that if I say that I'm not all for it, there's a good chance some of you will take it as me saying, trans people bad, Harvey Weinstein good, instead of you just shouldn't dox people's mom because they said they believe. Okay, so this right here is perfect. This is what I wanted to see tonight. I wanted to explore the gap between how I'm perceived and who I actually am because I've never seen such a strange take on me before. Me? Call out? Problematic? What? No, see, that's just the thing, is that if there's one thing I've learned, is that that couldn't be further from the truth. Probably. Uh... Jesus Christ, where am I? Uh, the first step is going to have to be get the kids off of it. The thing that I keep hearing is, is social media isn't the problem, we're the problem. And while there is some truth to that, ultimately it's not us, it's someone else. There are people who are doing this on purpose. It's going to kind of be all over the place, man. I don't know what to say because I didn't expect anybody to actually show up and a few people already have. I was able to shake them long enough to get to my hotel room and whatnot, but I had to go back out again because I told them I'd tell them things. Maybe I'll see you out there too. Who knows? This is insane. This is very weird. I don't know what to do and give Mark Zuckerberg even more of a say of who ends up president. I just had a really interesting conversation with an 18-year-old marine biology major named Seth who told me that entomology was his passion and he didn't want to essentially turn his passion into an obligation. And I was amazed at the foresight and wisdom that was present in that decision. In an 18-year-old college freshman, um, I would have just said, I want to drop acid for a living. Pretty weird, especially since it says LGBTQ plus voices of punk on there. I don't play punk music, and if you want an LGBTQ plus voice, you should probably go to somebody who doesn't, when you insist on knowing what he does with his dick, say functionally straight, or if you ask how he identifies, says I don't. It's an honor to have anybody relate to, be moved by, or appreciate any of my work for any reason. And look, there are some of those feelings in there, there's no denying it, and I've rarely been the cisest and headest cishet in any given room, but, you know, ultimately, I feel like that slot probably belongs to somebody who is more qualified to represent the LGBTQ plus community. That's not really me. I didn't kiss enough boys in college. I tried, but it's not me. People probably won't expect my saying this, but I think people throw around the phrase parasocial relationship a lot because it makes them feel like they beat the game. The whole point is connection. I want you to connect back. Now, don't get this twisted. I'm not your drug adult, gay, trans, radical, communist, space, vampire, mad, scientist, best friend. I don't know you. You don't know me. This is illusory, but it's okay to like things. It's a lot more complicated than just parasocial bad. There's nothing inherently wrong with being emotionally invested in somebody who you don't know personally, but people try so hard to avoid establishing that connection. And it's to the point where in their effort to separate artwork and artist, they turn us into content and creator, product and brand, and eventually employees with no HR department. Ah, uh, you know, the fans, they spend the money that puts the food on the table, and it doesn't take much, if anything, to start an angry mob. So I think there's always going to be somewhat of a power imbalance between us, but I try my best to maintain my artistic integrity.